subject matter expert of this video is Dr. Iram Khan from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. And the academic expert or the reviewer of this video is Professor Jasim Ahmed from Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Hello, my dear students. I am Dr. Iram Khan, Assistant Professor at Institute of Advanced Studies in Education, Department of Teachers Training and Non-Formal Education, Faculty of Education, Jamia Millia Islamia, New Delhi. Today, we will be talking about a topic which is related to the concept, the principles and the stages of development. Let us start the session first with the objectives. We all as a teacher need to study the growth and development of learners as all the learners have to deal with the uh, different type of socio-economic and the cultural backgrounds. The teacher as an agent of the society is very much responsible to bring desirable changes in the behavior of a learner so that the learner may shoulder the responsibilities of a good citizen to accelerate the process of national development. The other reason to study the development or the uh, process of development is the continuity from the past to the present and present can be understood better in terms of the past history. And when uh, we talk about this, uh, this process of development, we can see that how a teacher is uh, basically considering the child as the part of his or her life. And prior to joining a school, the child basically accumulates enormous experiences in the home in the environment in which the child is born and brought up and also besides the home the neighborhood the environment in which uh, or the very useful starting or uh, you can say the starting education which can be considered to the informal education is somehow imparted to the child in the effective or non-effective way if it is in effective way, we can find that the development starts happening in a proper way. And if there is some sort of uh, problem, then we can find that in the process of development, there are many hindrances. So the, the foremost responsibility of a teacher is to see that how the child's overall development is taking place. Individual differences are always there. We all know that uh, every child is a unique entity. So the individual differences among the children, uh, basically they play a very important role also in their education. So the teacher must know the potentialities and the capacities of each and every child of uh, his or her class so that the teacher can exploit the best and the, uh, be the, the Im most important capabilities for the benefit of this particular child or the individual, which can make him or her the best possible citizen for the society. So the teacher must know the basic principles of growth and development and the characteristics which emerge at different age levels in various developmental dimensions to provide the effective guidance for the harmonious development of a child. So in this particular uh, lecture we will be discussing about those uh, basic concepts uh, which explain us about the growth and the development and also we will be trying to discuss the principles the, the different stages and all those dimensions which we have got when we try to understand the process of growth and development so first try to understand the concept what exactly we mean by this concept when we talk about growth and development. So growth and development, uh, we have uh, uh, using these two terms interchangeably. Many a times it is used interchangeably and most of the developmental psychologists uh, use both the processes and uh, they also use it interchangeably. Because these two processes are interrelated and interdependent on each other. It is very difficult to differentiate the contribution of uh, growth 
and development separately on the personality of an individual. So in this way, some psychologists define growth as an indicative of uh, the increase in the bodily dimensions, the height, the weight, uh, which are generally confined to the quantitative changes. And in the word, uh, words of Arnold Gisell, he, uh, he is an American child psychologist. He has uh, given a definition of growth. He says that growth is a function of the organism rather than of the environment as such. The environment furnishes the foil and the milieu for the manifestation of development, but these manifestations come from inner compulsions and are primarily organized by inherent inner mechanics and by an intrinsic physiology of development. The very plasticity of growth requires that there be limiting and regulatory mechanisms. Growth is a process so intricate and so sensitive that there must be powerful stabilizing factors, intrinsic rather than extrinsic, which preserve the balance of the total pattern and direction of the growth trend. Maturation is in a sense a name for the regulatory mechanism. Quotes close. So these are the word, words of Arnold Jessel when he talks about the concept of growth. Then development can be defined as the emerging and expanding uh, capacities of the individual to provide greater facility in functioning. What type of functioning? Like the development of motor ability uh, from, from uncertain steps to proficiency in games. We, we see that once the child is growing up, first the child actually takes very uncertain steps. Uh, he or she used to, uh, to fall on the floor and uh, even walking is a tedious task for him or her. But in the later years, when, once the development is complete, then we can find him running and playing all the games and doing all the things in a very proficient way. So development, as a matter of fact, is achieved through the means of growth. Development refers to the interactions of a person and his or her environmental surroundings. And the, the after products or the byproducts which uh, we get uh, in this process, they, all these byproducts alter the existing response, the tendencies in such a way that uh, they, uh, the, the outcomes are the increase in the strength the degree of differentiation and the organization of the personality of a human being or any individual. And these are a few of those references and the suggested further readings, which can be considered once you are, uh, are trying to study more about the topic. So see you all another day, another time in another session. Thank you for this time. Thank you so much.